Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera Selamat datang ke rancangan sensasi sekolah kita Budak Sembilan Ada sedang bersama dengan saya, Ana Dan bagi episod kita pada kali ini Kami akan paparkan satu minat Ataupun hobi salah seorang kawan kita ni Yang suka sangat mengumpul Kalau suka mengumpul ni, no hal lah kan Tapi benda yang dia suka kumpul ni Orang kata memang unik Lain daripada yang lain dan bukan itu saja, beliau juga mempunyai dua bakat yang istimewa. Jadi, nak tahu apa dia, siapakah dia, jom kita tengok video ini. Here is my personal collection of what I've been catching for the past uh, several years. We have beetles, like I said before, butterflies, moths, Pulisid, uh, dragonflies, we've got cicadas, really wait, noisy. Wait, uh, Pulisid, they, I don't some, some people, they say these Pulisids are like evil insects, you know, serangga yang macam setan, saya tak tahu, saya tak percaya sangat. And they are actually quite interesting. They come in many different shapes, and sometimes a certain species, there's a genus species too, yang memang uh, rupanya seperti daun. Even though it's the same species, not one looks the same. Ada yang dia buat macam daun dah reput, ada macam daun baru. See, that's how they camouflage within their environment. I have I have Malaysia's national butterfly, Raja Brook. And we got a few more here, one, two, three, four. This is the male, that's the female. The male and these these are just how they, they these are just how they look like on the underside. We got two more here. I didn't like Raja Brook. But all these species are many years ago. I haven't found them at all yet. Ah, scorpion, this was the one I was talking about. Uh ni yang saya jumpa kat rumah kawan saya kat Perak. This is the one. Tapi dah reput lah, memang saya tak sentuh Nanti takut pecah Beatles, if memory serves There are over around 350,000 different species But not all lah ini lah, it's worldwide okay. so, Some are black, some are rather metallic in colour okay. It's quite fascinating And this is also uh, Malaysia's largest beetle Oh my god It's called it's kumatando. Ah, the orang asli call it kumbang 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 badak. The rhinoceros beetle. This particular species has grown very rare. Okay, not because of me. It's a very popular mouse collectors, but I only have one. This one is has a rather interesting story because I actually found it dead on a sidewalk in the taman of Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, so I think it must be lost or escaped from someone's bag or whatever from the jungle. It's dead already. Yeah, this is also from Pera. While I was cycling down a dusty road, it was actually also dead on the floor. Since it was the same color as the ground, I'm actually quite lucky I found it covered in ants. So I I think it must have been flying around at night and got knocked by a car or something. You know, it died. And these are also relatively large insects that surprisingly I caught just outside my door. Kadang-kadang oh. uh, malam-malam kalau lepas hujan, lampu-lampu tu dia ada. Dia, you know. yeah. Now this, also what I like about butterflies is some, they're dull on the top. Yeah. Not very boring, I mean not very interesting. Mm -hmm. But when you turn them to the underside, oh. wow, it's in reverse. Yes, hmm. okay, they're in reverse. Oh, hmm. That is also a pelusit. Sisada. But unfortunately, when they die, unfortunately when they die, warna dia pudar. Sebab tu ni dia warna hijau, cantik bila hidup. Tapi sebab dia pudar, yang tak ada apa boleh buat. I may have some more interesting. Okay, most of you might think this yellow one is a butterfly. Yeah. But actually, it's a moth. Really? Yeah. Some certain species fly in the daytime. This one or in the daytime? Yeah. And some butterflies also, certain species they fly at night. Macam mana tahu perbezaan butterfly dengan moth? Basically, secara apa secara ringkas, tengok badan dia banyak bulu, gemuk, pendek. 
Ke, ha, kepak besar <coughs> and uh, the colors are very drab you know, warna dia pun tak menarik sangat okay. Okay. but this is originally was known to be the largest moth in the world wow. but recently in in South America they or in America they discovered a new species oh, that is a lot larger than this I can't see the stomach the stomach must be eaten by ants yeah it's slightly it's slightly bigger than a basketball the one they found really you can imagine the size this one is small and you see the way this moth protects itself in the wild is either by size or if that doesn't work it's camouflage or if that doesn't work either if it's on a tree or somewhere it's got yes. transparent windows oh. see yeah yeah uh, which break up its outline make it look uh, inconspicuous so Ala, <laughs> dia macam tak nampak lah and yes. breaks up the outline okay. yeah. alright another thing is I, unlike some collectors they like to go for big insects but I actually like to go for small insects you can see some of them are very very small okay. it's actually not easy to preserve such small fragile okay. kecil sangat dia mudah pecah okay. tapi over the years practice banyak kan boleh lah kan. ok and then also what I like about small butterflies is some of them when on a white background you don't really see anything interesting but when I bring it out wow. oh, I see, I see. really long echo dia panjang yeah, yeah. these are called Malayan Imperials mm. you might not think <laughs> you can see I have another one there yeah. but you arrange them as in the same species but upside down yeah and also this particular one the top is very dull but when I turn it to the underside, see okay, another upside down butterfly. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of upside down butterfly. Yeah, some species are like that. They prefer to look beautiful when they land rather than to look beautiful when they fly. Oh, oh, we look under yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they are humble. Possibly, yeah. insects have feelings as well. So, so insect and kecil, we know. Oh, kecil. Who can see? Those are cicadas. Riang riang. Oh. The Malays know them as riang riang. Yes, very, silent. very noisy. <laughs> there are actually many ways I caught this. Some are with net, like I said before, some are with hand. But to get these really small, small, interesting ones, sometimes you just simply you go under a, sh a short tree, okay, you spread out the tarp, a white towel or what, you get a stick and you beat the branches, and the insects will sometimes fall onto there. Then you simply just could take no, whatever you find. Uh, or at night, sometimes when I go camping, I like to take a moist or wet towel, spread it out, hang it out somewhere, and then put lights so it attracts moth or whatever that flies at night, beetles and stuff. But what, and also there's one that where I haven't done yet because I don't really have the money for it. You use um, kind of like the machines they use to smoke the nyamuk dengue, oh. but except uh, fogging, uh. they fog the canopy of the jungle. And then they have all the things down there like mangko, whatever, pails, okay, cloth, and they just fall in. Uh, that is really an amazing experience. Uh, memang saya mula kumpul ini sejak kecil lagi. Memang sejak belum tahu jalan lagi tu, berangkak je. Ingat ibu saya terpijak atas semut. Lepas tu, saya lihat kesian sangat, saya nangis. Jadi saya rasa sejak tu lah, rasa kesian dengan serangga, jadi minat kan. Masa tu, you, you berapa tahun? Oh, you. Tak ingat lah, tapi memang masa kecil lagi lah. Tak tahu jalan lagi. Oh, he, but you tak tahu jalan, you boleh dah fikir pasal... Tengok, saya so ingat lagi tu. Um, you rasa minat you ni, you ni? Oh, yeah, sebab tak ramai murid langsung yang minat macam saya. Yang orang suka bunuh serangga. <laughs> secara tak betul. So, you ni kiranya pecinta alam sekitar? Ah, boleh kata begitulah. You tangkap you pick insects dekat mana? Oh, merata-rata tempat di Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Macam contoh Perak, Pahang, sampai Belum pun ada. Banding, Langkawi. The list is endless. So, bila masa you tangkap uh, insects ni? Ha. Bila masa, kadang-kadang um, every now and then, ibu bapa saya pergi berkemah di hutan. Ha, pada waktu tu, saya kalau ada masa lapang, cari yang serangga ni semua. So, you selalu pergi camping dengan family you, eh? Hmm. Okay, tell me more about your insects. 
Cikli collection saya ni terbahagi kepada um, rama-rama, kupu-kupu, kumbang, belalang, pelesit, color jengking, pepatung. Banyaklah jenis ada yang saya tak tahu cakap dalam BM pun. Dia <laughs> tahu setiap satu rama-rama selalu ada berapa banyak? Um, saya memang belum kira uh -huh. tapi memang banyaklah. So bila ni feature nak buat apa dengan insight sini? Well, yang dah awet ni saya rasa saya simpan je lah so, uh, like prize possession kan untuk memory apa kan. Lepas tu kata bila dah tua dah senior mungkin pergi Mcop Mall lepas tu jual buka stand saya sendiri yang college corner ke apa <laughs> you tak you pernah tunjuk kat orang lain sebelum ni sex you um, ada kawan lain yang datang sini kadang-kadang hmm. bukan kawan je lah family relative ke cikgu tuition pun tunjuk hmm. so apa eh, apa ni opinion your parents about your hobby ni uh, yeah. ibu bapa saya no <laughs> tak ada komen lah oh, so dia memang ok lah level lah selamba <laughs> you feel anything when you look at your massive collection of insects? Do you feel any satisfaction? Any... Well, it's actually it's not really satisfaction because, you know, it involves killing things. Yes. You know, it's, it, sometimes you don't really feel... Satisfied? Yeah. What you do like? You like killing? <laughs> you know, I don't really feel satisfied, but yeah, lah, it's, it's a bit of sometimes surprising or it makes me feel proud, you know. It's quite an achievement to be able to col collect all these things, but... Recently, I actually have rather stopped. It's been a year or so because my parents haven't been going out that much at all. Our camping trips have stopped for some reason. And uh, so I've been laying dormant for the time being. So do you refer to a book or when you're hunting for this? Well, I used to in my early days, but now not so because I managed to remember some of it. Yeah, and in the year that I passed, I forgot them some also. Plus, you tangkap, and then you awet kan binatang tu, and then you terus frame kan? Uh. Apa proses tu? Um, well, saya tangkap, uh -huh. lepas tu letak dalam bekas. Bekas ni, dia ada macam uh, layer of styrofoam as the floor, biar dia tak merosakkan lembut sikit. Lepas tu, kapas-kapas ni, saya, I dip it in nail polish remover. Uh -huh yang penanggal warna kul uh, kulit kuku tu ha, bau benda tu akan buat serangga tu tidur lah. tapi tidur tu memang tak bangun lah <laughs> okay. sad to say tapi yeah. dia bukan lah macam <laughs> ok, ha. ok, I know, soft ha, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, ada yang hidup lagi, ada yang memang jumpa mati lah uh -huh. so, mana lagi banyak? Hidup you matikan ke? Yang dah memang dah mati. Hidup yang saya matikan. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs>